There's a magnolia blossom. And there's a magnolia tree. And we are in Birmingham, Alabama. And there's Susie. And we are headed to Morgan Creek Winery to learn all about muscadine production from the Brammers. There are the muscadine vines. And here we come to Morgan Creek Winery. Right here on Morgan Creek Lane, and isn't this pastoral? Okay. Alabama wine country. Take a look at this stuff. It's just about as red as dirt can be but I've got a mystery I want to solve here and I'm seeing down here in this red dirt these little chunks of what I think may be limestone because limestone underlays the entire area here and I see an awful lot of minerality in those wines Behind him is his little winery there. Well, there's, there's Charles Brammer. Hey, Charles, how you doing? Good. I've just been poking around your your vineyard here, and I've been I've been uh, digging around in that red dirt of yours to <laughs> try and solve the mystery of why your why your uh, the hob of white is so so minerally and goes so well with uh, with those. Uh, Seafood gumbos and stuff. Uh, what do you think? I mean, uh, is it you? You, you grow uh, or, or you, you bring in muscadine from all over the place? But do you see differences? Is it, in other words, is it the varietal or is it the soil? I think it's a lot of the varietal and the, the soil. Some of the fruit we bring in comes from just, just real sandy. South Georgia soil. Uh huh. Yeah, Florida. Just, right. Do you find that those wines are a little flatter in the finish than the ones you choose for the for the dry white? I think I think so. Uh huh. I think the stuff that comes off. Of well, this. I want to try a little experiment. Uh, I wonder if you've got a little acid back at the lab, and mm -hmm. uh, I pulled a few little chunks of the rock out of here, and let's put some acid on them and see All whether right. or not they turn out to be limestone. How's All that? Right. This is Carlos, which is a uh, one of the more popular white varietals. That's mostly for the sweet wines, right? Or right. What do you put in that Cahaba white? Well, Cahaba white is actually mostly Carlos as well. Uh huh. Okay, so it can make a real good dry white. Yes, yes, and it's uh, it's probably your most popular white varietal for uh, for wine production. Uh huh. Y you know, I I was so impressed. Uh, I handed I don't know if you remember Richard Crittenden, but He's a doctor in town now, and I handed him a glass of that stuff blind last night. I mean, I, he, all he knew was it was a white wine, and he smelled it, and right away he said, uh, boy, that's that's a muscadine. And I mean, I was impressed, because we were mostly <laughs> drinking Chardonnay, and, uh, and I asked him to describe the aroma, and all he could come up with is, well, that smells like I'm, you know, seven years old climbing trees in Alabama. <laughs> And I can't really describe it either. I, I get I get some lilac, you know, some floral things, uh, uh, some things that are a little like Pinot Gris, mm -hmm. but there's something very distinctive about it, mm -hmm. really perfumey. Do you, you got any any words to describe it? That's that's the first thing before anybody tastes it. I tell them stick their nose in the glass. Uh -huh. And so many people that's the same description. What right a now. nice little place. And you can have fun with it. Why bother? Might as well just drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What we do is play with your palate. It's more than free. Uh, Alabama being the land of Coca-Cola and sweet tea, everybody will walk in and say, I want sweet muscadine wine. And we'll say, well, you know, since you're in a tasting room, let's try this dry, and then you can say you've had a dry wine at least once in your life. And you might like it. And then we'll work our way down the line to the sweeter wine. And you will be shocked how many will like that dry wine. We're teaching a lot of people here basics. I'm realizing that there's over 350 to 
350. Oh, yeah. And That's so, it. And it's, so we're really getting to well right? You know, when, when these folks walk in here and uh, and uh, you want to tell them about the winery, what what is it that you guys tell them? Thanks. Thanks. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> Try it. You like it. <laughs>